We're going to talk about the firing order, top dead center, and the timing. Firing order on these are one, three, four, two. That means the first cylinder closest to the front of the vehicle, and the second one is last, and the third cylinder going towards the back is one, one, two, three, four each cylinder. So one, three, four, two is the firing order. That's how your spark plugs are going to fire. One, three, four, two. Your timing on this is set 10 degrees before top dead center. I found this acrylic color paint in a crafts box and I used it to make a mark on this nut driver. That was the what I called the highest point. That was the highest point on the uh, cylinder. I stuck that in. See if you guys can see this really good. So I'm going to light it up. I stuck that in the spark plug hole. I held it up against the uh, valve train. And that mark is top dead center right there that's top dead center mark because I marked it pretty close to the top of this but the deal is is it top dead center on compression or is it top dead center on exhaust well to find that out you have to align your distributor your distributor also has to be aligned right back here that's the mark I had I put a little paint there instead of the tape and the rotor button which is right here it should be pointing at the number one spark plug all right so if it's not pointing at the number one spark plug if that is pointing over here which I put a mark here so that's 180 degrees out so that is the exhaust that is not the top dead center compression right now it's on top dead center exhaust stroke and the way I know that is because I put paint mark there the pin aligns with the first mark which I made white then you got your second mark which is black and then your third mark which is white each mark is five degrees before top dead center 5, 10. This thing's supposed to be set at 10 degrees before top dead center. So I went ahead and marked that for future. Now, all I got to do is turn this 360 degrees and I'll have this thing at top dead center on the compression stroke. So I got my ratchet with the 27 mil. I'm going to give her a turn. You still got some compression in there. We should be coming around the mountain here pretty soon. Here she comes. See her guys? When this thing is running, you'll put a timing light there and that should be aligned 10 degrees before top dead center. We want to go five there and this is my zero mark right there. Now I'm at, I'm marked up top dead center there. I'm not on my exhaust stroke anymore in my distributor because my rotor button's pointing to my number one plug. So my rotor button is pointing to my number one plug wire. All right. So this is my distributor, how it faces. If it's on the number one, you're on the compression. If it's on the number four wire, you're on the exhaust. Now every 180 degrees that I turn from there, I turn that 180 degrees from where it's at now it'll go to the third 
top dead center, four top dead center, then another 180 would be this number two top dead center, then another another 180 would bring me right back where we started. So I hope that helped you out about getting this thing to top dead center. Also, these pins, this is a trademark of a six cylinder, so I don't know how come this is here, but there are marks on the pulley, and most six cylinders have a pin. And there's supposed to be a gauge there, but there's not on this one. So this is kind of unique, but I'm glad I figured it out. And maybe you guys have the same issue. So let that be what it is. And uh, that's how it works. This mark on the belt, don't pay no attention to that. It's just some extra paint that got on there. But anyway, that's where you want to be on your top dead center now if I stick my stick my nut driver back in there it should be right high with the top of the valves and it's right where it needs to be right high that's as high as it goes so I am a firm believer we are at top dead center right now okay so we want to break this head loose now we want to start right here in the back and go one, this is the first one, do this one second, come over here back to the front, third, fourth, and go back over here, fifth, sixth, go back over here, seventh, eighth, go back over here, ninth, and tenth. You want to do it in that order, quarter turn at a time, that way you don't have no, uh, bad head warpage when you're done so that's the game plan go ahead and loosen the head up now and we'll have to take this off but we'll have to support this timing chain they say use a block of wood in there cut the length to support that and we'll figure that out here shortly so that's the game plan